welcome to Presque Isle State Park. We travel all over the place and we love the ocean, but when we are home, Presque Isle State Park gives us sanity. It's on Lake Erie. It's 13 miles of a peninsula with 11 official beaches and beaches in between, walking trails, hiking trails, bike rentals, ponds, so much more. I'll show you some of it. Highly recommend stopping by here. Who's ready to go camping? So you can't technically camp in Presque Isle State Park, but right before you get into Presque Isle State Park is Sarah's campground. You head past Waldemere on your left and head down the hill. It's right down there. As you come down the hill, you're going to see Sarah's to the right. There's Sarah's campground where we're going to be staying these couple days. Sarah's Diner where you're going to find all kinds of American diner food. This campground is so adorable and we just found this little stream that Mario loves and we all love playing in. right on the beach if you don't have a puppy but since we got our puppy poo if you're heading to Presque Isle we actually do rent these very paddleboard and kayaks out as well as a three-person kayak and some more we'll throw a link in the description for it Girls volunteered to put the tents up, so I'll let them have at it. If you're wondering what teenagers do while they're camping, let me show you. What are we doing? Nails <laughs> My baby boy Mario is loving life. He's been digging holes. to helping puppy not be afraid because he saw fire from far away and was afraid is make him so tired walk him around a campground bring him to the beach all day and then a campfire is just perfect
the only thing that woke me up was a dumpster. I think the dumpsters were being emptied. Hopefully by like a garbage truck and not like a bear. That's all I could think. There's not a bear in a dumpster, right? It's just like a truck emptying them, I hope. Look at Poppy. Boy. He slept in more than he usually sleeps in. Poor Andy is allergic to mosquitoes. So I suggested he go home since it's like two miles up the road so he could sleep good and I could sleep good here with the kids and then we'll see how it goes. So over on the beach side is where most of the tent camping is. It's on the lake. You just can't bring doggies here, so we opted for the other side of the street. And it's first come, first reserve basis. You come at nine in the morning and reserve a spot. You bring your tent, and you can't reserve the tents ahead of time. Laundry room, bathrooms. What is over here? Camper sites are booked out a year ahead of time. So if you want to stay here in the next summer, you have to book it in July, the summer before. That's how popular it is to stay here, but I totally get why. Hi, little boy in the playground. Hi, little girl. Back at camp! Little mom trick, if you want your car packed up quick after camping, take them somewhere fun to eat afterwards. When you're here at Presque Isle, maybe Sarah's? That's where we're heading. all to itself from getting your collectible coins to doing photo shoots around these different places you can hula hoop out little spot we'll show you around a little bit it's a must stop if you just want to have some fun especially with the family now we're going to check out some fresco spots this spot is pretty awesome for bikes both on the water and surreys, all kinds of bikes to rent. And if you're at Waterworks Beach and you go right across the street, you can normally see across to the city of Erie when it's not storming, that is. The pontoon boats run on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and they're at 9, 10, 30, and I wanna say 11, 30, but basically three times starting at nine in the morning and they're free and they're first come first serve. So get here as early as you can to reserve your spot. Tickets available at the Welcome Center. This is where my friends and I always went when we were in high school and college and it's still one of my favorite beaches, Beach Six. And one of the reasons is the beach volleyball nets. 
it's also one of the beaches that's open most often and maybe that's because it has a pretty gradual beach and it's a guarded beach. There's tons of parking here. Um, also a beach house. It's an older one but it works. And there's a concession stand here that's open a lot too. Um, another cool beach is Waterworks Beach. It's actually the next one after six. It has a playground, a really nice bathroom, and it's handicap accessible. Turns out Beach 6 is one of the beaches that allows dogs, but only at the tree lawn, not by the actual water. Looks like that's all we're doing here for today, but we'll be back soon to show you more. This week is actually Discover Presque Isle, and it's a fundraiser for Presque Isle. We use this place all the time. love Presque Isle State Park. There's so much to do here and so I figured the least we can do is make a donation. I guess they'll give us some buttons and a program to tell us what activities are going on this week to celebrate Discover Presque Isle but more than anything it just feels good to give back to a place that gives us so much peace and enjoyment. Coming to Presque Isle State Park all the time growing up and as an adult one thing I really didn't know much about were the trails besides the main bike trail. There's actually a variety of trails that go in the woods that are a little more off the beaten path that are pretty fun. Trailhead. So here's the sidewalk trail that we're going to start on and then you can go to Dead Pond Trail. That's quite the name. One of the best things about Presque Isle is that it's open all year round. So here we are in the future in the winter and I just saw a sign there's cross country ski rentals. There's fishing here all times here but there's ice fishing this time of the year once it gets frozen over. You can actually still boat this time of year. Of course until it's frozen over you just have to wear a life jacket if you're in a kayak or canoe. I haven't done that yet in the cold maybe I should try it out maybe not. <laughs> I've seen people ice skating on the pond that's behind me and right now Barrio and I are going to go walk on the main trail. I've talked about it a lot but there's a main trail that's 13 miles long. That's a bike trail, walking trail, running trail, rollerblading and it goes the entire way around Presque Isle as does the roads. So you could always just drive all of Presque Isle and see different things. It's 13 miles long. Mm. Because of these many, many pavilions here, there's so much going on at Presque Isle. From family reunions to big events, like there's a Christmas lights show, there's lots of races. I've had a triathlon that was based out of this pavilion here. There's Discover Presque Isle. And another favorite thing about Presque Isle is that there's no entry fee. As a risky choice but I think it would be scary to sit there right now. Well this certainly wasn't intended to be an adventure video but turns out it is. I managed to lock myself out of the car. Keys are locked in the car with Mario in the car in this a little windy day. What do you think? Andy just found the spare set of keys and now he's getting over here we might live two miles from Presque Isle, but we're pretty far deep into Presque Isle, so it'll probably take him 15 minutes to get to this spot once he gets here. So I'm just huddling by my van. Poor Puff. At least he has his coat on. He has no wind in there. Anyways, while I'm waiting, I truly do love Presque Isle, even if this is an unfortunate situation. And it feels totally impossible to be able to tell you everything there is to see and do here. So hopefully I told you enough that you want to check it out for yourself. Wow. 
from my Mayday call to Andy to when he got here. He had to find the keys, get here, find this spot on Presque Isle, which was so obscure. It took 45 minutes. So, I started getting hungry. And more than anything, I started getting really sad that no one wanted to help me live and learn. I am totally, totally grateful for this random bag of Cheez-Its that my daughter's friend left in the car. I was going to drop them off at her house because she forgot them. Oh my gosh, food never tasted so good to me. Anyways, if you see this, go out and do something nice for someone and look for people in need. I guess I'll be even more alert to such things. If you love to travel and don't love doing all the research, make sure you subscribe so we can share our journeys with you and hopefully find some things you might be interested in doing.